performance-based navigation. The safe orderly flow of air traffic depends on reliable and accurate air navigation procedures no matter what the weather, no matter how challenging the terrain, air travel has increased exponentially in recent years and is forecast to double in the next 15 years as the number of aircraft and flights increases, the greater the need for predictable flight paths and a higher level of navigation accuracy to improve safety efficiency and airspace capacity. Fortunately technology has dramatically improved the global aviation community's ability to manage increasing air traffic both from the ground and in the air the advent of global navigation satellite systems or GNSS has led to a significant increase in the aircraft's ability to more precise navigation standards. In 2008 ICAO introduced the concept of performance bass navigation or PBN. PBN incorporates area navigation or RNAV and required navigation performance or RNP to provide safer efficient air navigation routes and approach procedures to meet the near-term mid-term and long-term needs of aviation going forward PBN has already demonstrated concrete benefits in term of safety through straight-in procedures vertical guidance increased airport accessibility reduced infrastructure operating costs increased airspace capacity improved and more flexible use of terminal airspace for both arrivals and departures. User preferred routing avoidance of noise sensitive areas and most important reduced fuel burn and carbon dioxide emissions until PBN was introduced our NAV and RNP procedures were being applied inconsistently from one country to another and from one region to another, there was no central focus or control. The need for standardization and overarching provisions was obvious ICAO was ideally placed to build a framework for better rare traffic management using PBN. Training Module Objectives The objectives of this training module are as follows, to provide an overview of area navigation, to outline the different aircraft system functionalities required for area navigation, to describe the evolution of PBN and state where generic global details can be found. To outline the components of PBN and their interrelationships. To summarize the above. Conventional navigation. Aircraft normally navigate using external electronic guidance or self-contained information. External guidance is provided by ground-based navigation aids, nav aids, or from Global Navigation Satellite System, GNSS. Historically, route structures were developed between the nav aids. This is known as conventional navigation. Nav aids used include non-directional beacons, NDBs, and very high frequency omnidirectional ranges, VORs. Routes are defined by the geographical positions of nav aids or fixes based on the intersection of radials from two nav aids or a distance and a bearing from one. Aircraft are required to overfly these nav aids and fixes. From conventional to area navigation, in the early 1970s, the first digital avionics were introduced on commercial aircraft. These early very simple avionics can be compared to a car's basic cruise control. The pilot was able to input coordinates to the aircraft's computer, which then provided guidance to the coordinates via a course deviation indicator, CDI. The earliest computers could only store four manually inserted coordinates, otherwise referred to as waypoints. Pilots input the coordinates of the nav aids, or fixes, as waypoints defining an ATS route, along which the navigation computer provided guidance. However, if these coordinates and the aircraft's actual position differed, the pilot knew that the designated radial inbound, outbound to the nav aid defined the ATS route they were required to follow. As traffic levels increased, some European nav aids became saturated with ATS routes based on a single transmission source. In the 1990s, with navigation computers now common in commercial aircraft, a strategic decision was taken to capitalize on their functionality to relieve nav aid saturation. Area navigation was introduced, firstly mandated en route in Europe on 23 April 1998, as basic area navigation, BNAV.
Area Navigation, the International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, definition, a method of navigation which permits aircraft operation on any desired flight path within the coverage of ground-based or space-based navigation aids or within the limits of self-contained aids, or a combination of these. Area navigation enables the aircraft to fly a path, or leg, between points, called waypoints, which are not necessarily co-located with ground-based navigational aids. Area navigation is the key enabler for performance-based navigation, PBN. Area navigation is a method of navigation which permits aircraft operations on any desired flight path. Area navigation routes are defined by waypoints which may or may not be co-located with a ground-based navigation aid. Area navigation can only be achieved by aircraft fitted with an onboard navigation computer, and this is commonly referred to as an RNAV system. The coordinates of the waypoints define RNAV routes, and these are loaded into the navigation computer. Once the navigation computer has been loaded with the required waypoints, it then creates a path between those waypoints. This is known as the defined path. The path is geodetic, which means it is the shortest distance across a sphere. In other words, it is a great circle route. The onboard navigation computer estimates the aircraft position using whichever sensors are fitted to the aircraft. These sensors may be for ground-based navigation aids, such as VORDME and DME-DME, or for space-based, such as GNSS, or onboard autonomous navigation systems, such as the Inertial Reference System, or INS. Waypoints, a cow definition of a waypoint, a specified geographical location used to define an area navigation route or the flight path of an aircraft employing area navigation. A waypoint is defined as a geographic coordinate in WGS-84, and is identified either, by a five-letter unique name code, for example BANA, if located with a ground-based nav aid by the three-letter ICA identifier for that station, for example OTR, or for terminal airspace only, by an alphanumeric name code, for example DF for 10. There are several different ways aircraft will fly to and from waypoints. For terminal operations waypoints may be, flyby, a waypoint which requires turn anticipation to allow tangential interception of the next segment of a route or procedure, or flyover, a waypoint at which a turn is initiated in order to join the next segment of a route or procedure. For en route operations most waypoints are treated as flyby although some navigation specifications may allow the option of flying over the point. Area navigation routes, are nav routes, and our nav route is an air traffic services, ATS, route established for the use of aircraft capable of employing area navigation. Our nav routes are defined by significant points called waypoints, which are, in turn, defined by coordinates. These routes can follow any desired path and are not constrained by the position of ground based nav aids. Only aircraft equipped with an onboard navigation computer, commonly referred to as an RNAV system, can navigate effectively to these waypoints. The aircraft position is calculated by the RNAV system using inputs from one or more of the following, for example DME DME, distance measuring equipment, VOR DME, GNSS, Global Navigation Satellite System, or an aircraft on board autonomous navigational system for example IRSINS, Inertial Reference System Inertial Navigation System. In our example, there are a number of ground-based DMEs in the airspace the aircraft is flying through. The navigation computer will use a pair of DME ranges to estimate the position of the aircraft. The computer then compares the estimated position to the defined path and provides path steering or guidance to follow that path. Since the position is estimated using only two range circles, one from each DME, there are two possible points where the aircraft could be. To resolve this uncertainty, the navigation computer uses historical information to exclude the false position 
commonly referred to as the point of ambiguity. When using two DMEs to estimate the position of the aircraft, there are times when the angle of cut of the signal from that pair of DMEs is too low or too high and does not provide an accurate enough position estimation that can be used for the operation. This happens when the angle subtended at the aircraft is either less than 30 degrees or greater than 150 degrees. Fortunately, the aircraft's navigation computer can work out when this dilution of precision is going to occur and will then lock to alternative DME stations to ensure that an accurate position estimation is possible. The navigation computer automatically switches between DMEs and this switch from one DME to another is totally transparent to the flight crew.